Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by our very own Teespring store, but more about that later. So Brody Moss from Youngbloods uh -huh. had a bit of a scare when he thought he'd lost his doggo Strider. So um, basically Strider, no, no, sorry, Brody went spearfishing. <laughs> Strider went spearfishing. Strider went spearfishing. Um, no, Brody went um, sort of spearfishing and then his dog Strider dove in for a swim, which nothing unusual, yeah. Striders are very much a water dog, Definitely. Um, only some bull sharks had been sniffing around because of all the spearfishing and this story actually even made news over here in the UK, uh, just worried about the poor little dog Well it's a dog, so we all love dogs here apart from me because cats are awesome. Anyway, so if you're familiar with the Australian channel, if not you should totally go check them out. It, uh, I think it's just popped up above me right now. Uh, you should know that Strider never really leaves Brody's side and sometimes the doggy paddles around while Brody and his crew free dive. But of course Strider is a good boy and always listens to his master. Well, and until now should we say. <laughs> so Brody was uh, free diving amongst bull sharks, lemon sharks and bronzies uh, when Strider decided to jump into the water off the boat to see what his master was doing. Um, this is when things get a little bit worrying um, and basically Basically, as soon as Brody spotted Strider in the water, panic kicked in um, as he noticed that the sharks were now kind of closing in and circling in on his little doggo, um, trying to work out if Strider was worth a nibble. Um, but first off, here's a word from today's sponsors. Now what's the most important thing scuba divers love to do when they're not diving? It's not eating or breathing. No, it's telling people that they're a scuba diver. And the most common way you can do this is with a, you know, a cool new tea. And guess what? Our very own Teespring store features lots of tees, stickers, hoodies, and even socks that will let everyone know that you are a scuba diver. So to view our whole range, just click on the link pinned in the comments. Anyway, that's a shameful plug over. Let's get back to the story. Uh, so Brody makes contact with Strider and uh, sort of lifts him out of the water into the boat, safe from the shark, so everything's happy. Um, since the incident, Strider hasn't jumped into the water. No surprise. Uh, I'm sure he or she, I don't know if Strider's a boy or a girl. I'm pretty sure it's I've a never boy. looked. Um, but, uh, but Strider is a lot more sort of wary about sort of just diving into the water. He's after learned he his lessons. Off. Yeah. Um, anyway, to watch the full video, then click on the card that's just popped up above us somewhere yeah. over here. Um, and that's pretty much it for the story. Uh, do you follow Young Bloods on YouTube? Uh, was Strider in real danger, do you think? I mean, they're not the natural prey of bull sharks or whatever. But they, yeah, they love dogs called Strider. But they will take a nibble out of a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> let's have a chat in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then of course hit that like button, smash on the subscribe button, and of course don't forget to ring that tiny little bell. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. Bye! Uh, the sword was 10 meters underwater in the Vibras River. Well and thank, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Uh, and the underwater Indies. Yes! Indiana Jones's. Yep. Don't sing, don't sing anymore. Don't sing anymore. <laughs> Copyright strike. I found it hard uh, to extract due to the fact 